Detainees may have set fire to uh, Darwin's main immigration detention centre as part of a religious protest. Two fires were lit inside the centre this morning and it appears they were started because detainees weren't allowed to go to the mosque. From Darwin, Ishkanda Razak reports. By mid-morning, the fires were at their peak, sending black smoke billowing into the sky. Firefighters used water cannons on the blaze, but it appeared to do little early on and the smoke got thicker. Indonesian detainees allegedly lit the fires because they weren't able to go to the mosque to celebrate the end of the Muslim holy month, Ramadan. An asylum seeker advocate in the centre at the time says staff went into lockdown and police came inside. They were all in battle gear, what I call battle gear, and helmets and guns and things, getting themselves all ready, and I thought, heavens, revolution has broken out. Territory police also manned the fence line and the media were warned several times to stay back. And after several hours of pounding the area with water cannons, firefighters appear to have won the fight. The fire appears to be out, the skies are now a clear blue. But that doesn't mean the drama is over, because it appears security is up. Police officers are still on the fence line, and they don't appear to be moving anytime soon. When the smoke cleared, the damage was apparent from the air. At least four buildings were damaged by the fires, and two have collapsed. The Territory's Muslim community says it's sad and Islam's holy day has been tainted by violence. Islam says no violence in any case, in any situation. No one can deter you or frustrate you enough to do something violent. So it, there is no justification. The Immigration Department says no one has been injured, but more than 50 detainees have been moved from the centre to Darwin's police watch house. Iskandar Razak, Late Line.